Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over some mobility and stretching exercises that you can do at home. It's now more important than ever that we stay on top of this because we are training from home and we're also working at home. So I hope you guys enjoy, sit back and relax. So the first exercise we have is called hip snappers. So what you need to do is just sit yourself up and make a nice M shape with your legs. You're then gonna keep the weight on your heels and rotate one leg out and one leg in, making sure you've got a 90 degree angle at the front leg and 90 degree angle at the back. You'll then keep your chest up and lean as far forward as you can, performing this stretch. Once you've done that, you're then gonna to rotate to the opposite side and repeat this 20 times. So once you've done this, you're then gonna take a little rest and then repeat that two more times for me. So in total, you're gonna do this for 60 reps, each round of 20 reps. So when we're doing this, you've gotta make sure that you've got one hand facing out and one hand facing in towards your legs, keeping your chest up. The further you lean forward, the deeper stretch you're gonna go. This is a great exercise for anyone that's doing any lower body workouts. So if you have got a heavy squat day and you wanna make sure your hips are primed and ready for squatting, give this exercise a go. So this will allow your hips to be a little bit more freely moving, so you should be able to hit a deeper squat and be a little bit more comfortable at staying at the bottom of the position and executing the exercise with more ease. So the next exercise is a box quad stretch. You're gonna hold this stretch for 60 seconds each leg and you're gonna do three rounds of this. I'd recommend every 20 seconds trying to increase the range of motion in which you're stretching. So what I mean is hold it for 20 seconds and then try and push your hips forward a little bit more so you can get into a deeper stretch. That way, once the muscles loosen off, you can take it into a, a more of a deeper stretch and get more out of it. The idea is to put one foot on the back of the box. You can use a sofa or chair. I'm just so happily using a box because they've got it in my gym and the focus is to push your hips forward and keep yourself nice and upright you'll be feeling this in the back leg so i'm now got my right leg forward so i am effectively stretching my left quad this is a great exercise for anyone that has any quad pain so if you've done any squats the day before and your quads are quite tight it's a great way to ease it off so moving forward to the next exercise which is a standing hamstring stretch same as the previous video we're going to hold this for 60 seconds looking at increasing the stretch further every 20 seconds you can do three rounds on one leg three rounds on the other so the idea is to elevate your foot off the floor again using whatever objects you have laying around and you're going to put your heel on the box you're ever so slightly going to keep your chest up and tuck your hips back leaning into the stretch now you don't have to put a massive amount of pressure on this to get a good stretch so the next exercise is a supinated lat stretch basically all it means is your hands are facing upwards this is a great exercise for anyone that's going to perform any front squats what tends to happen in a front squat position is a lot of people have really tight lats so i highly recommend doing this exercise if you are about to do any front squats the idea is to keep your hands on the kettlebell hands facing upwards you're then going to push your hips back and try and get your chest to touch the floor you should feel this underneath your armpits um, again, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. The only thing I can say is once you are doing this exercise, you may find a little bit of discomfort in your wrists. Um, it's not a nice place to be, but it's a great way of getting better and stretching off those lats. You're now going to see a different angle. So you can see that my hands are closest to the inside of the kettlebell. They're facing up. I'm now pushing my hips back and trying to get my chest as low as I can. That way I'm getting a good stretch on the lats again holding it for the prescribed amount of time that i've told you to do and just remember to breathe throughout the exercise slowly breathe in slowly breathe out and take your time Now, if obviously you don't have any kettlebells or dumbbells, I've got you covered. You can just use a broomstick or a PVC pipe in which I have here. So what you're going to do is you can go up to an object. You can use a box, a chair, a sofa, wherever you have a laying around and you can perform this stretch. The key with this one is to drive the elbows into the box, pulling your hands backwards and trying to get your chest nice and deep into the stretch. This way you can stretch off the lats and it's a different way of doing it. Once you feel that the stretch is slightly wearing off, try and go a little bit more deeper and just focus on your breathing throughout the exercise. 
So moving on to the next exercise, we have leg arm raises. This is a very challenging exercise. If you have a seated office job, you'll notice that your body will be kind of rotating forward. This is a great way of obviously increase, increasing shoulder mobility and shoulder health. It's a very tricky exercise. It is very uncomfortable. It's one that I hate the most, but I get the most reward out of it. So the idea is to try and get your bum as close to the wall as possible, making sure your back is nice and flat. From there, you're going to push your elbows and touch the wall and your hands must touch the wall. So I'm just going to show you a different angle here. So what you're then going to do is bring your elbows into your lats, holding at the bottom and then trying to push your hands all the way back up. Unfortunately, I've had a bit of a shoulder problem in the last couple of years and my sh shoulder mobility isn't very good. Hence why I'm not giving the best demonstration. But this exercise is really good for any overhead work. So if you are doing any overhead squats or any Olympic weightlifting, this is a great way to obviously improve that or if you're a normal person and you have a CETIS office job I'd highly recommend that take a couple of times out of your day to perform this um, you will reap the reward out of it it's very uncomfortable you can see I can't quite keep my hands flat on the wall but stick with it guys and you'll get some really good results first started doing this exercise um, I could only manage three reps at a time because my shoulder was really bad but break them into smaller numbers and just make sure that once you do your 15 have a little break and then go back in and perform it for the prescribed amount of sets moving on to the next exercise which is laying supermans this is a great exercise for someone that struggles with deadlifts me myself I do struggle with deadlifts I struggle to keep my back tight so this is what this exercise is reinforcing is trying to keep my back as tight as possible but also working on my overhead mobility and my ranges of my shoulders so the idea is to keep your chest off the floor and try and extend your hands as far forward as you can before pulling your elbows in towards your lats this over time will increase the range of motion in which your shoulders can move and it will also help protect the shoulder girdle so if anyone is out there having any shoulder issues give this exercise a go um, it will really help with your shoulder health and mobility just like the previous exercise it is a very uncomfortable exercise so you may need to split it up into smaller numbers but stick with it you will reap the rewards and the successes that comes with it over time Next up, we have the standing chest stretch. So one of the limitations in kind of Olympic weightlifting is having a rather tight chest. For me, coming from a bodybuilding background, I've done a lot of chest work, my chest is rather um, tight. So this is a great exercise. So what you need to do is make sure that your arm is a 90 degree, 90 degree angle, one foot forward. You're then going to lean in towards the exercise, stretching off your chest, making sure that your forearm and elbow is placed onto a secure uh, object. You can do this using a door frame. I was just quite lucky enough to have the um, usage of the rig. So with this exercise, you're just going to hold it for 30 seconds. You're then going to relax and then go into it again for another 30 seconds and make sure you do that until all three rounds are done. And then you're going to transfer that to the other side. This is one of my personal favorites, a stretch off the lats. So again, as we do a lot of back exercises, your lats do get shortened. So what we wanna try and do is lengthen that. So the idea is to put one hand on the rig or door frame or wherever you're using. And then what you're gonna do is push your hips as close to the wall as possible. You're then gonna try and rotate your body and try to get underneath your armpits as such. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of a side angle here. So the idea is I'm trying to work my left hand side. So what I've done is I kept my left hand on the outside of the rig. I'm now pushing my hips out to the side. My feet are staying planted where they are. I'm trying to twist my body and that way it's gonna allow me to get a nice good stretch on the left hand lat. So perform this exercise three rounds on the left side and three rounds on the right side side at 30 second intervals. Following exercise is great for all you squatters. So with squats, the limiting factor is you've got to try and get your knees over your toes. So this is going to help increase ankle mobility. So the idea here is I'm keeping the weight on my heel and I'm adding a weighted object on top of my knee. The idea is I'm trying to force my knee over my toes to increase the range of motion in my ankle. So when you go down into a deep squat position or say you're new to squatting, you can't get deep into a squat. This will be just down to the lack of ankle mobility. So this exercise here is designed to obviously increase the ankle mobility and make sure it holds a 
deeper stretch. So here's a front angle for you. So what you're going to do, try and keep your chest up, make sure one leg's forward, push the weight down through the knee so your knee tracks over the toes and make sure you keep the weight on the heels. This might be a little bit uncomfortable, but the idea is to try and get better and better, increase the range over time. The prescribed reps for this one is 60 second intervals. You're going to do five rounds on one leg and five rounds on the other. Moving on to wrist rocks. So if you're about to do any upper body workouts or say you're about to do any press ups, it is an ideal that you warm up your wrist. So this is a good way of doing it. So what you want to do is make sure your hands are all spread out and you're trying to push your upper body over your hands, stretching off the wrists. This is slightly uncomfortable, but the more flexibility you get in it over time, the easier it will be. What I tend to do is as I come backwards off the stretch, I like to raise my hands off the floor, it just takes the pressure on them. The idea is to try and get a full stretch, so go as far as you can to where it becomes slightly painful, hold in there and then easing it off. So if you are about to do any upper body exercises, this is a great exercise to do. Um, also, if you are uh, an Olympic weightlifter or do CrossFit, this is a great way of obviously warming up your wrists to perform front squats. So I know when I do a lot of front squats, my wrists are slightly sore. Um, so if I do this, it makes sure that I've got a better grip on the bar when I'm lifting. But with that said, in order to get a better front squat, you need to work on ankle mobility and you also need to work on lats, making sure your lats are nice and eased over. So if you do hunch forward, it's down to thoracic extension, but it's also down to having quite tight lats. You're not able to get your elbows up nice and high. If you can keep that bar up high, then obviously you're going to perform a good front squat. This next exercise is a quite a painful exercise. So it's quite tricky to work your abductor. So that's on the muscle on the inside of the legs. So you can use a broomstick or a mop. I just so happen to got a barbell. And the idea is to spread your legs out, trying to get them over the knuckle part of the bar. So you know when you slide a barbell on and then it stops at the bottom, that's called a knuckle. So the idea is to push your feet out and spread them out nice and wide. Now, don't worry, I couldn't do this at first. I couldn't even get my legs to touch there. So if you can't do that, I'm just going to show you a clip in a minute on how you can work around it. But the idea is to work your way up and down the bar, holding it for 30 seconds at the top before moving back down towards the bottom and holding for there for another 30 seconds. So if you are one of those people that can't touch the bar, what you're going to do is imagine the bars out in front of you and you're just going to walk your hands all the way to one side, holding up at the top, and then you're slowly going to work your way back down to the other side. And what you're going to try and do is lean forward. The idea is to try and keep your chest up um, rather than folding forward. So you can just see from this angle here, I'm not particularly that flexible. I need to really focus on keeping my chest up, but I can feel a good stretch on my abductors. Again, and please persevere with this exercise over time. You will get better. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. The longer you take on this and the more time you put into it, the better you're going to get. So moving on to the Cobra stretch, what you're going to do is you're going to hold this um, exercise here for 90 seconds. So what you kind of want to do is drive your hands into the floor, allow your lower back to round and keep your chest up. This is great for obviously stretching off any abs. So if you've done any abs in the last couple of days, that will help obviously stretch that off. But most importantly, what we're trying to do is prime the lower back. Again, this is quite an uncomfortable exercise, having a lot of weight distributed onto your hands. But again, persevere with it. Take your time. So from this angle, you're going to lay flat on the floor, drive your hands into the floor, allow your lower back to round and try and keep your chest up. The idea is keep your chin up and look at the ceiling and that way we can perform a good cobra stretch. To make this exercise slightly harder, what you could do is twist your hands inside out and you could also stretch your wrists at the same time as holding this position. Um, it's not very comfortable, but it's a good way of changing the exercise up. Lastly, we've got assembly holds. So what we want to do is sit down and push our feet together and make a nice diamond shape. We're then going to keep our chest up and our shoulders back. We're going to try and push our elbows into our knees, keeping our hands on our ankles and then we are going to drive our elbows into our legs and pushing down this is a great exercise obviously working the inner legs and stretching that off so if you have got any lower body exercises or if you've got a leg day coming up 
perform this exercise and this should be able to help you get into a deeper, more comfortable position. So this now brings us to the end of the YouTube video. If I could ask you guys to do a few things before you go. First of all, like the video, so hit the thumbs up icon. Also comment below whether you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you've got a load of knowledge and information out of it. And also put future requests on any other YouTube videos that you want me covering in the future.